thankful to be present with all of you online around the world and here in this room, Sunrise Ranch. Last night, um, Lana and I went to Timnath near Costco over there and um, offered a hula class and performance. It was a silent auction that I offered uh, for one of the other nonprofits I'm part of. And um, we got to give it last night. It was an idea that I had to, that uh, women could come together and have dinner and then we do the class and then the performance. <clears throat> It also was like a fun thing. I was like, oh, this gal was like, I love that. She lived in Hawaii for a little while, for four years. You know? And um, I must say, Lana and I left on this cloud knowing that we shifted things. We shifted the world. We changed their lives because of our presence. You know, I talk about what has brought me here to this point what I do in my world, how I live a life of service, and what aloha really means. Aloha, the exchange of the breath of life. They're like, wait, I thought it was hello and goodbye. I'm like, no, it's way more than that. <laughs> it's like, what is this? Aloha. I thought it was hello and goodbye. And people always do that. No, it's bringing the breath of life through these capacities in my unique way and exchanging it with you from your unique way. And we create together this beautiful dance called hula. Hula is not a performance, it's a spiritual practice. And I've performed since I was a kid in various venues. My first performance was a solo for my teacher's birthday. No pressure. <laughs> And it was in Vegas, not in Hawaii. And I shared this, I shared this, this journey. I was born on the ninth island, Las Vegas, right? And raised between Hawaii and Vegas. Very confused childhood. But there was <laughs> always something calling me to go beyond these two worlds that I lived in. What, what is mine to do? What is, who am I in these two worlds? Never really understood either one fully or being understood by either fully. So, you know, but always, I always loved and resonated with hula and the Hawaiian culture and aloha, what that meant. So as a young adult, I researched it, researched it, and I've come to now realize that it's, and I've been told by elders, that it's my responsibility to bring the aloha spirit in my own way. And we did that last night. Lana and I did that together last night. She didn't dance very much. She didn't speak very much. But our presence, our agreement together brought that. It allowed me to be more present, open to bring it. And then they felt it in themselves, and we brought it together. By the end of our session, people were crying. Uh, I jokingly say, like, I made them cry. But it means we went deep. And we went high and we went vast. One woman said, I feel larger. I feel like more of myself. You know, and she was very put together. Mm -hmm. Businesswoman. She's like, I feel more. I'm like, yeah. Society tells us, you know, from, when, you know, we told her about primal spirituality. We're born, born with this vastness of knowing kids, right? Babies, they're like, ah. Nothing but love, nothing but an expression of love, loving the life, loving the world, the wonder, the awe, the joy. And then society is, don't be so big. Why are you being so bright? Who do you think you are? Oh, you know, then we just start closing in, closing in. And everybody's like, yeah. But if we tap into what's moving through us and allow it to flow with discernment, there's still social norms. We have to, you know, be cordial. Don't be rude. Don't shine a diving light in people's eyes. Anybody divers? Like, no, okay. maybe it. Okay. Especially night diving. Because the dive light is so bright. That's, that's the power we have. That's the immensity we have to bring to our worlds. But we can't shine it in the light and eyes, right? In each other's eyes. But it's, it's a power that we can use to create and stretch into. 
So I jokingly say, I made him cry. But it's it's a melting of all that stuff. Don't don't do this, don't do that, you know. And how do we do that together? We we're only supposed to be there an hour. We we're there almost three hours. <laughs> they didn't want to leave. We're all sitting on the floor chairs. We're just like getting in it, like what, you know, talking about things and, and really just melting, melting the boundaries, the walls away between us as women. And then the host's husband was there too, and he was holding the masculine with us. He was holding space for us. And these are complete strangers. This is what we're about, is it not? This is what community is about, not to feel comfortable at Sunrise Ranch. Oh yeah, I have my roof over my head, I have the organic food, all these things, no. This is what we're about. This is what Sunrise Ranch was meant for. This is what Emissary's Divine Light is meant for, to bring this presence through us, between us, and into our worlds. The truth of it, the love, power of love. So I believe I'm over my time, but I, I'm so moved by what we, we are doing. The opportunities we have, if we stay centered and open to see them and bring ourselves fully.